Good evening, everyone. It's Reverend Charles Ulick from Grace Episcopal Church and the rector and pastor there here in Paducah, Kentucky. It's great to have you with me this evening as we wind down our day with Compline Prayer. Today is the festival day of St. Mark the Evangelist, or Mark the Evangelist. And as I did at, uh, our, at our noonday service, uh, I wanted to introduce you to Leo, who is always a favorite of mine and the kids at church. And he is representing Mark today as the evangelist. I'll talk a little bit more about why he is a lion in a few moments. Let us put ourselves in the presence of God as we wind down our day in thanksgiving for this another day. Let us inhale all the things that God has blessed us with, especially new life, new love, an ability to self-isolate and to respect one another's space. And let us exhale those things that take us away from God's love and pull us down in anxiety or fear and so that we can have a restful sleep. We begin our Compline prayer, night prayer this evening, in our Book of Common Prayer on page 127, page 127. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm this evening comes from Psalm 96, found on page 725 in your Book of Common Prayer, or in your Sacred Scriptures. Psalm 96. Let us read this to passage together. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation. From day to day, declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all gods of the nations, they are but idols, but it is the Lord who made the heavens. O oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence! O oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary! Ascribe to the Lord, you families, of the peoples ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come to his courts. Worship the Lord in his beauty and holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees and the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes, when he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our passage of scripture this evening comes from Paul's second letter to Timothy, chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, 
who is uh, to judge the living and the dead, and in view of his appearing to his kingdom, I solemnly urge you, proclaim the message, persistence with whether the time is favorable or unfavorable, convince, rebuke, and encourage with the utmost patience in teaching. For the time is coming when people will not put up with sound doctrine, but having itchy ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own desires and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander away from myth to myths. As for you, always be sober, enduring suffering, do the work of an evangelist, carry out the, your ministry fully. As for me, I am ready, being poured out as a, libra a libation, and the time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on there is reserved for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. Do your best to come to me soon, for Damas, in love with his present world, has deserted me and gone to Thessalonica. Gracious has gone to Galatia, Titus to Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Get Mark and bring him with you, for he is useful in my ministry. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As we celebrate this day with Mark the Evangelist, this wonderful passage in this psalm today reminds us of how important it is to let the spirit of God's one word out of all of it, each and every one of us. Do not be afraid of talking about your faith, especially to people who are questioning and asking or wondering what is the Christian faith or faith in general. It is important for us to tell people about it. As I was telling you just before we started, Leo here is, happy, is the symbol for Mark. He's usually a winged lion because the first part of Mark's gospel, he's talking about John the Baptist, who is making ready the proclamation of the forthcoming of the Messiah. He is crying out in the wilderness like a roaring lion. So tonight, I thought I'd bring Leo and be as our mascot. But I also would like to share with you why the other gospel writers and why they have symbols. So John is the winged lion because he's crying out. The ox is a sacrificial animal and stands for Luke whose narrative begins with the temple and the eagle, stands for John, whose narrative begins in heaven with the eternal word. And the corresponding with Matthew's gospel is also a narrative that is matching with a, an angel. Each and every one of us are called to be a proclamation of evangelistic nature, Sometimes as Episcopalians, it's, it's hard for us to kind of break out of our shell. But more importantly, it's important for us to talk about who we are as Episcopalians. And in that, in itself, is talking about the love of Christ. For that is the place where we can find middle ground with people. A place of common ground. Kind of like our common book of prayer. Amen. As we continue our prayer, we are on page 300, 132, page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught to us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 
Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. This is our colic prayer for this night, or for this day. Almighty God, who by the hand of Mark, the evangelist, have given your church the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we thank you for this witness and pray that we may be firmly grounded in its truth through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We are on page 134. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those who work, who both night and day, who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, my friends, you're welcome to post prayers if you'd like to on, online or in the recesses of our hearts or minds in the safety and security of your own home this night as we wind down our day. I would like to pray for uh, the Shadoan family as we laid to rest their mother, K Kitty Shadoan today, for Tom and for Ashley and for Tom's sister, Kate, and her family. We give thanks for Kitty's life and the love and wonder she gave to so many students as she was a teacher and the love that she gave to her children and her grandchildren. We pray for the family, for Kathy Kinnear, whose father, Bill, passed away today, for her family this night and as they mourn the loss of him. We pray as well for Bruce Reeves' family, who passed away a couple days ago. We ask you, Lord, to be with his family as a dear man of God who came to our church only a few years ago. We give thanks for him and for his family, Claudia and her family. We pray for, the, for Frank Harwood's family, who also passed away this past week. O most holy God, losing others is never easy. We just ask you to be with those families that are mourning their loved one's loss this day especially those as well for those who lost their lives because of the coronavirus that we're fighting right now and why we're all self-isolating. Bless them, Lord, and bless the souls as you welcome them into your paradise and into your loving arms. We pray, Lord, as well for the gentle rains that have been falling on western Kentucky and eastern Missouri today. Help, O Lord, and ease any flooding that might be possible, and keep those safe from that possibility. We pray, O Lord, as well for the many people who are struggling because of unemployment, and those especially who are facing natural disasters. Bless them, Lord, with shelter and food and good friendship and love and support of their neighbors. We pray, Lord, for the doctors and nurses who have been helping are on the front lines of fighting this, this coronavirus. We thank you, Lord, for the scientists who are working night and day in the laboratories that are trying to find a cure for it and a vaccine. We pray for all those who are struggling because of this illness right now, who are on ventilators and their families who are cannot be with them because of this the terrible uh, the way it's transmitted so easily. We pray, Lord, in thanksgiving for the blessings of this day, for the food that we have on our tables, for the kind words of people texting you or social media, sending you pictures. I'd like to pray in thanksgiving for uh, the, birth, the one month birthday of my niece's uh, grand, uh, or my niece's my cousin's daughter, <laughs> I'm not a granddad, uh, for her daughter. I'd like to pray, oh, and uh, like to pray in Thanksgiving for the birth of Joe and Mickey Pitter's uh, uh, sons, Max. They had a baby, a uh, girl, 
and give thanks for that little one coming into their lives and blessing the Pittard family. We give thanks, O Lord, for all the blessings you give us. Give us restful sleep tonight. Take away all the discomfort, maybe a family squabble or, or an argument we had on the phone with someone. Help us to forgive one another, Lord. As you were able to help us learn how to forgive and to let go and let you into our lives. Hear these prayers that we have posted online, but also those that we have spoken out loud or in the prayers we've offered in the recesses of our minds and our hearts this day. Give us restful sleep so that we may awake tomorrow refreshed for a new day on your, on your resurrection day. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Savior. Amen. We continue on page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared that you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this night. I hope you have a restful sleep. Tomorrow we'll have a 10 o'clock service with morning prayer uh, tomorrow morning. I uh, hope you can join us uh, again here on Facebook as well or on YouTube. Have a blessed night. Remember that God loves you. And so do I. And so does Leo. Good night, y'all.